Hello, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com making a key list video for you. And we are looking right here at MarketSmith. And I am going to show you, for VIPs, how to make a screen. We're going to go through very slowly, very methodically. First, I want to get you acquainted with a little bit. This is what you're looking at. If you wanted to look at a different chart, you can just type in, I'll do another one here. You just type in the ticker symbol here and the chart comes up. This is a daily chart. If you want a weekly chart, you just click weekly. I'll go back to the, that's how you get it. Here's the daily chart again. Down at the bottom are the earnings and sales numbers, earnings at group, earnings estimates. So that's simple. But let's go in and let's make a screen. So what are we going to call this screen? We're going to make a new screen. We'll click on new stock screen and we're going to call this new for, easy for me to type, right? VIPs. And we're going to click save. Here's the screen right here. Now we have pages that we can select to put our criteria in. We're on Smart Select, we're on the first page, Smart Select Composite Ratings. Let's put in here, we're not going to put in earnings per share rank. We're, we're going to put on a relative strength of 80. And what we're saying is we only want stocks with a relative strength of 80 or higher. That drops our list from 7,666 stocks down to 1,586. Accumulation distribution. We know we want stocks that have an accumulation distribution of A or B. So we'll click it. takes us down to 1,200 stocks. We also know from our research and from Bill O'Neill research, you want to buy leading stocks, leading groups. So we'll click industry group A. Basically that comes down to around the top 40 groups. Takes us down to 629 stocks. Now, the important thing is this. We put in a relative strength rating of 80, an accumulation distribution of A or B, means it's being bought, group rank A. Now, on this page here, click on Earnings, and a new window comes up. We know that, by and large, most great stocks have earnings of 40% or higher. So in this box here, we type in, right here, Earnings Percent Change, last reported quarter, box 3. You just put in the number 40 and press Enter. And we're going to include stocks with negative comparison quarter. So it takes us to 189 stocks. And what are we saying? I want all the stocks in the universe with a relative strength greater than 80, accumulation distribution of A or B, it's in the leading groups, and last quarter's earnings were up 40% or higher. Let's go to industry and sector. We know we want stocks in the top 40 groups. So here we go, industry group rank. One on the left, 40 on the right. And what are we saying? I want stocks that are in the top 40 groups. And it takes us down to 179 stocks. Now let's go to price and volume. We don't want any low price stocks. So we're going to cut this off at $12. We're on price and volume. $12. Takes us down to 110 stocks. We know price versus 52-week moving average. We want stocks that are within 15% or 20% of 52-week highs. So what do we put here? 20. Within 20% of 52-week highs. It takes us to 92 stocks. Now we also, again, no low price stocks. We also know that we don't want stocks that are real thin, that don't trade much volume. I'm going to scroll down to it. Volume, 50 day average volume, right there. You see that? We're going to cut it off at 120,000 shares a day. And you press enter. 
We also know that we want stocks that are above the 50-day moving average line. Price versus 50-day. Over here, you just put one. They're at least 1% above the 50-day moving average line. That takes us down to 75 stocks. So that is how you slowly and specifically make a custom screen. And then you do this. You click on here, and this window comes up. How do we sort our screens? We always sort our results by industry group rank first. So you click this column once and then twice so that it comes up with all the stocks that meet your criteria in group number one, group number two, it goes down. And then you see this little box right here? Click that box. It locks it. Here's the next thing you do. You want to find the leading stocks in each group. What do you do for that? You click the percent off high box and it ranks the stocks that are closest to 52 week highs. Upland is only 3.4 per 9 percent off 52 week highs. Twilio is 3.79. And then you click the lock box. So now you have locked your screen cover parameters by industry group rank first, percent off high second. Now what do we do next? This is very simple. You just click on the first ticker symbol and the chart comes up. Take this little box right here and click the arrows and it drags over. Click this lower box right here to minimize it and it drops down. So now we're looking at a chart of Upland. And again, they've got a problem with their program. They won't change the color fat. But here's what you do then. You're looking at the chart. You like this one? You could save it if you want to. And I can show you how to do that. I'll wait for that though. I don't want to throw too much at you. But here's how you get to the next chart. You just hit your space bar. And the next chart comes up. Want to go to the next chart? You hit the space bar. Now you guess well, Pat, what else is in here that's relevant to me? Here's something else you can do. See where it says related information? Click on it. And it will give you the news stories, but you can also hit industry and sector. And it shows the leading stock. It shows the information. This is group number one. Different information on the stocks. You can hit owners and funds if you want to. Who owns the stocks, you know, funds and things like this. The one I like is the news. You can click on news. All the various news stories on this stock. If you want to read a story, you just click on that title right here. And I'll give you the news story. It'll pop up in the window. Drag this back like that just by clicking on it once. And you can hit again, hit the space bar, and go to the next chart. You find one you like, I'll show you how you save it. Here's all the leading stocks in the group. Now watch this. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to make a new list. And this is what we're going to call it. New list for VIP members. And I'm going to click Save. I'll get rid of this so it's, you can see all the words. New List VIP Members. And I click Save. So now I have a list here that's empty. It's empty. Go back to your screen. Here's our screen. Let's drag the screen up. You hit this box to drag it up. Excuse me. And here's what we want to do. Let's suppose we want to save Wix. See where it says add to list? Wix added to new list VIP members. Let's do another one. Go back to your screen. Here's our screen. There's Wix. Go to the next chart. You just hit your space bar. We'll drag that over. You can say, well, that doesn't look too bad. Let's add that one to the list. Add to the new list VIPs. And you add it. FIVN, ooh, that was down on heavy volume. Nah, we're not going to put that on the list. Coop. Coop was good for us back here. It was on the list. 
kind of floppy right now. We won't put it on the list. Alti's being bought. Alti's being bought. You sure won't put that on the list. That come that means they're being bought out. Okay. GoDaddy, nothing here. NMIH, nothing there. ESNT, nothing there. And all I'm doing is I'm hitting the space bar. Now we're into a new group. You say, oh, that's too loose. MDB, MongoDB, Workova. Let's suppose we like this one. And we want to add it to our list that we watch, that we scan for every day. You just click New List VIP, and it's added to the list. Now, let's suppose that we have a list, and we call it List for the Week. And I'll show you something. I click on it right here. This is my Bill 404510. I have my screens, the Bill O'Neill screen, companies that have earnings up 40% or higher, companies that have sales on average up 45% or higher, and companies in the top 10 groups. I've got it sorted by industry group rank, okay? And I can just take a look and see what which one. I scroll this list every day. This is my list for the week. Now, I just made a screen and we came up with a couple of stocks. You could say, Patrick, where are they? Remember we called it new list for VIP members? Click on it. And here's the stocks we saved. Here they are. You can say, well, Patrick, I want to look at them. Double click on the line, drop this box down, minimize it, and here's the chart. You want to go to the next chart? Just hit your space bar. There's the next chart. You can say, well, Pat, I want to look at a weekly chart. We're on the daily. Click weekly. And now we have a weekly chart. Go back to the daily if you want to, and then hit your space bar, and you go to the next chart that you saved. I'll show you one more thing. If you want to draw a line, there's a simple way to do it. Just anywhere on the chart, hold down the control key on your keyboard and hold down the left side of your mouse and you can draw a line. You want to get rid of it? You hit the trash can. Oh, it won't get rid of, it doesn't get rid of these lines. I'm sorry, these lines will disappear automatically. Let's suppose you want to get rid of this. This arrow. Little trash can and it's gone. That is how you make a screen in Marcus Smith. And when you run the screen, that is how you make a list. I'm sorry if this went a little longer, but I think it's very important. So team, this is for VIPs. Tell me what you think about it and then do this. Ask questions and we'll go through it. And I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you and I thank you very much for your time.